Good morning, everyone. Happy Vlogmas Day 7, 18. Day 18. Wow. Time is flying. And as I said in my video yesterday, embracing the season every day, no matter what. So that's what we're doing here today. <clears throat> First, though, we're going to try this hot chocolate bomb. It's a Santa Belgian, Belgium, Belgian, 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 Belgian chocolate. I don't know how many times I have to say that to make sure I say it right, but Belgian chocolate. Maybe if I just say it really fast. Anyway, I wondered how this was, and I thought we would try it. So this is the Belgian chocolate Santa. It's a chocolate bomb. It's really cute and small. So I was surprised. So it says to put Santa in a cup. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to switch the camera because we're going to try out Santa here in this little <laughs> chocolate. All right, you ready? Okay, there's Santa. And you're going to, I'm going to try to zoom in so you can see just Santa, but we'll see. Okay, so Santa in the hot chocolate bomb. All right, moving everything out of the way. So it says to pour four ounces. So that's not very much, right? Four ounces of hot milk over Santa. So this is hot. It's pretty hot. It's, you know, like burns your finger hot. Let's see if Santa will melt. Oh, I guess it is melting. Oh, and there's little marshmallows inside there. Let's see, how long do I stir this? Until evenly mixed. And then I sip and enjoy. So there you go. That went really easily. I think I've not totally stirred it in. This is not water, however. This is with milk. Look at that. Well, there's still a lot of chocolate. But I guess that's all right. I wonder how it tastes. Huh? Well, we're going to taste it here in just a minute. So this is my little Christmas snowman mug. So four ounces is not even half of a mug. I don't know how big this mug is, but it's not, that's surprising to me. You would think it would fit the mug, but it's, um, it's like half a mug. Does anybody make these little mugs other than espresso? I don't know. All right, let's taste it. Well, the marshmallows are melting. It's good. It is good. It's not super hot. I guess I didn't get the milk too hot. Mmm, it's actually very good. It's good hot chocolate. It's just plain, plain hot chocolate. It's, it's at Dollar Tree. It is the Santa Bomb. But just know, you really need two Santas in a cup. Mm-hmm. And the little marshmallows add so much. It's very good, actually. It's very good. I could just drink the whole thing. I think I will. <laughs> so, seriously, I want to share something with you. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about um, traditions, Christmas, Christmas traditions. Some people were asking about that. and So, I can share a, a little bit. Um, <clears throat> we have a family emergency. So, my husband is leaving to go to Texas for a couple days. So, be praying for our, our family. And um, hopefully he'll be back Thursday night, I hope, or Friday. So, we'll see. Um, but uh, things could change. You never know. So, um, but just keep him in your prayers. And I appreciate that. Um, you know, sometimes things change your plans, and that's okay. You know, you deal with that and um, make the best of it, right? Okay, so it's Christmas traditions. I didn't write anything down. I'm just going to go off the head, and maybe I'll think of some things, and I'll add them another day. But one of the Christmas traditions that we've always done, uh, even growing up, 
is um, we open a present every Christmas Eve. And then we open our main, all of our other Christmas on Christmas Day. That's what we've done. Um, and then we carried that into um, our, with our son. And so um, we still do that. And he has not gotten married yet or anything. So he um, still comes and he'll come over Christmas Eve night now and spend the night with us, which is kind of fun um, to have him back with us for a, at least a night. So that's fun. I like that a lot. Um, <clears throat> let's see. What other Christmas traditions? Okay, so Christmas Eve um, at church here in Oklahoma, um, we have a service. Usually it's a candlelight service. So we would have the service at six for an hour and then we would go look at lights and then we would come home and eat and, um, and then we would open our gift, right? And read the Christmas story. So when Blake was really little, um, we did that whole thing. Um, and, uh, it was a little bit different than now he's all grown up. So we don't really read the Christmas story as, as per se. We talk about it, um, but don't always read it. Now, my husband usually reads it at church um, on Christmas Eve. So this year, Christmas Eve is on a Sunday. So we're having our Christmas Eve service in the morning, and that gives the families time to go be with their friends and family in case they so they can attend church in the morning. So going to look at lights is another tradition for us and we love it. And I've shared a couple times and we've just, we've just done it off the cuff spontaneously. Let's go look at lights. So we'll try to catch a neighborhood here or there. And that's really fun too. Um, but going to see some of the bigger lights, we love to do that. And if we can go with other, other families or friends, we like to do that. Um, the last couple of years, we've kind of missed the lights. So this year we had a uh, plan to go, but we may, may not get to, uh, we'll see. Um, <clears throat> let's see what other traditions we have. Usually I bake. I'll have a day where I can just do like mass baking and bake everything like cookies and all this kind of stuff. Um, since I work so much, sometimes I don't get that full amount of time to work, to bake, but that's one of our traditions that we really like to do. Now, Christmas morning when we get up, um, that's when you have your big gifts. And so what we do, and this might seem funny to everyone, but we're a small family, so we take turns opening our stocking and take turns opening our gifts so that we can enjoy the other person's gifts. And that's just something that we've done because we just we just have one son. So if we had had multiple children, I'm sure they w wouldn't have wanted to wait <laughs> each on each other. But um, but it's kind of fun because I like, you know, you, you buy this gift and you want it to be special. And so um, you want to see the reaction when they open it. I mean, I think that's part of my thing anyway. Um, so that's one thing we do. Then we have a big um, lunch. So we have um, cinnamon rolls for breakfast. As I was asking what other people do for their breakfast for Christmas Day because it needs to be easy. And somebody posted a really tasty sounding one with like, a, it's kind of like an egg casserole with sausage and bacon and, or uh, send it to me, Terry Lynn. And uh, you put potatoes in it and eggs and you can, um, I think you put the eggs in right before you bake it. But I mean, you can fix it overnight and, and then bake it in the morning, throw it in with the eggs. And that sounds really tasty. And then uh, you can, uh, then there was another one, or was it that one? Um, and then you can put it on tortillas with salsa and make like um, breakfast burritos. And that sounds really good too. Uh, one thing that I do, and this is not always for Christmas, but um, when I cook a turkey, I cook it overnight. So I put it in a baking bag and I put it on like 225 and I cook that turkey overnight so that the next day 
I have the oven free to cook everything else that I need to cook that day. And so I do that. And this year, though, we're going to have a, a pork loin. And uh, we're going to put some, um, it's kind of like an apple glaze and some pecans and maple syrup over it. And it's very good. So we're going to, we're going to have that this year. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Usually I have mashed potatoes on Christmas and I usually fix pies. Even though I fix pecan pie on Thanksgiving, that's my husband's favorite. So I fix it for Christmas too. And let's see, another Christmas tradition. Um, let's see. Well, we, um, I don't know. Let me think about it. Okay, so there is one tradition that I had when, since I was little. And I used to get a Lifesaver book. Does anybody know what that is? So it was a, a little book and it had packages of lifesavers on each side and it closed up. And so you would get like 10 rolls of different flavors of lifesavers. Well, I got that every year. And so my husband followed suit and he used to get me lifesaver books every year until you couldn't really find them. They were hard to find. I don't even know if they make them anymore, but that's another thing. So if it's not that, you do get candy in your stocking, some kind of candy. So usually mine is sweet tarts, freezer, Skittles is what I usually get in my stocking. So for my son, I like to get him the uh, sparkling juice. He likes the like grape sparkling juice or whatever in the bottle. It looks like a champagne bottle. So I'll usually get him one of those and Smarties. So he's not a candy eater really, um, but Smarties are something he likes. And so he'll allow himself like a roll of Smarties or whatever. And um, let's see. I don't know. We just have fun at Christmas. We wrap everything. So if somebody has something in their stocking, it's wrapped. If it's a pair of socks, it's wrapped. Um, and we put little funny things on the package tags. So like, for instance, I might, if it's from uh, something Dallas Cowboys related, which is my husband's favorite team, then I will put... Um, from Dub Boys or something like that. Just, you know, funny. Because we know it's from each one of us. So, that's kind of a fun thing. And, I don't know what else. We, we just enjoy each other. After we eat, um, we'll play games. If there's uh, sports on, we'll have that on. If there's a Christmas parade in the morning, we'll usually turn that on. Um, or some Christmas music while we're opening presents. All the lights are on. It's so one thing that we do every Christmas Eve. We never turn the Christmas tree lights off on Christmas Eve. Um, every other night we do, you know, like we turn them off about 11 or whenever we go to bed and, um, <clears throat> or put them on a timer. But on Christmas Eve, the lights stay on all night. So we leave the lights on. And so that's pretty, um, a pretty fun thing because you get up and the lights are already on and you're ready to go for Christmas Day. Now, since we don't live near family, um, we spend the whole day together just having fun, playing with our new presents or our new game. We usually get a game for Christmas every year, something new. And, um, so we'll play that or play one that we have already. My favorite is Wingspan or cards. I like that too. So lots of fun things to do at Christmas. I hope that, you know, we're not boring to you, <laughs> but we just enjoy our family. So anyway, I'll try to think of some other traditions. And if we do, if I do, I'll, I'll interlace them into Vlogmas somewhere. Anyway, um, if you see any of these Santa hot chocolate bombs, they are delish. So make sure you get one. Just remember, it's only going to be a half a cup. And uh, use milk, not water. And so I hope you enjoyed this vlog, Miss. Have a great day. Bye.